another wig review and today is going to be from a company called ATOZ wigs they were kind enough to send me this wig to do a review on so let's just get into it so I'm going to go ahead and read the details directly from the website about this wig this one says ATOZ wigs Calculon fiber 136 inch long party synthetic glueless lace front wig pre-plug hairline bleach knots African American wig blonde wigs and I have done a video or two on wigs from this company before so let's just see what this one is all about um y'all already know that it's 136 inches long very long it feels really soft and as y'all can see I have a 613 y'all I'm very very afraid of 613s I don't think I ever did a review on a wig that's only 613 usually I have had the dark root but this one is just straight 613s and like I said I'm not I'm I don't think I look that great in only 613 but I'm not I can't even judge because I never tried one so let's just find out I'm assuming that I'm not gonna like myself in all 613 so hopefully I'm pleasantly surprised because I do see a lot of um, brown skinned women celebrities Trina Nicki Minaj they all wear this color so let's see if I can pull it off so anyway let me get to the inside of the wig we have two combs in the front one in the middle no combs in the back as you can see we do have some lace in the back with the adjustable draw straps so let me go ahead and cut the lace off and put this on and see if I could pull this color off like Nicki Minaj and Trina <laughs> I'll be right back okay y'all and this is what I am looking like in a 613 right now very first time like I told y'all that I ever tried a full 613 no dark roots and y'all I'm feeling a little conflicted right now I don't know about this one I don't know if I am liking this on me right now I will, I'm leaning closer to a no when it comes to all 613 and no dark roots so but this video is obviously not just for me it's for everybody y'all might love 613 so I'm here to bring y'all the real and let y'all see what a brown skin girl like me looks like in all 613 and the quality of this wig as for the quality what I'm feeling right now is something that I do like this is really really soft I do like that about this wig um let me show y'all what the parting space looks like this is the parting space and I think the parting space is really really good we get a lot of parting space so I'm thinking we really don't have to plug this wig if we don't want to all we have to do is add our powder and this is what the hairline is looking like I don't think that's bad either it is not quite ear to ear on me almost ear to ear on me um, I feel like the cap is pretty big so I'm thinking on my big head people y'all might be able to fit in this one so I think it's really nice as for the quality of it um, I did notice that um, one thing that I didn't care for too much was that we have a few flyaways I'm not sure if you can see the, the short flyaways on the wig but other than that the wig seems pretty nice it feels pretty nice and let me go ahead and style so we can, you know, get to the nitty gritty of this wig. So.
this is what she's looking like after I put a little bit of work into her. Let me give y'all a 360 of what she looks like all the way around. Okay, and this is all of the hair in the bag. I think um, this hair is like the perfect density. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. As you can see, it's very long. I am 5'3", and it is to my butt. So, my opinion about this wig, y'all, I think this one is really, really nice. I've been passing my fingers through it. I haven't been getting stuck, so um, it's not too many tangles. A little bit of tangling, but very, very few. I haven't got an excessive amount of shedding. A little bit of shedding here and there, but not to the point where we need to complain about it because, I mean, it's very light. Um, I did say one thing that I didn't care for was the the flyaways, but as y'all can see, after I use the flat iron, they laid down pretty good. So, I do like this wig, y'all. Um, on the website, this wig is $37.79. And I think it's definitely worth the price. I mean, the hair is soft and barely any tangling, barely any shedding. So that's a plus. But as for the color, y'all, I'm not used to seeing myself in straight 613 hair. So this may take a little bit of getting used to. Right now, I'm on the fence with it. Y'all got to tell me, what do y'all think of me in 613? Right now, I'm like 50-50. Like, mm, maybe. I know I'm not going to be running out getting 613, so it's not my favorite color, but I think it's kind of cool. It's different for me, very different. So I don't think I'm pulling off the Trina and Nicki Minaj look very well, but it is fun playing with color, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what y'all think about this wig. Tell me if I look foolish in this 613. See y'all in my next video.